Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today our lesson is on dividing rational expressions. I'm not sure why there's an N in dividing, but let's just pretend that first N's not there. When we're dividing rational expressions, what we're doing is we're multiplying the expression by the reciprocal. So the steps are very similar to multiplying rational expressions. I'm going to keep the first term the same, and I'm going to change this to multiplication. And then here I'm going to do two steps. I'm going to take the reciprocal, which means I'm going to flip this fraction, but I'm also going to factor at the same time. So in the numerator, I could factor out 3, and we'll get 3 times x minus 6. And in the denominator, I'm going to factor the numerator, and I'm going to factor out 3, and we'll get x plus 3. At this point, we're going to see anything that divides by itself will 1 out. So I could look at the 3 divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and so I could just go ahead and cross those out. And then x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 will also 1 out. And so what I'm left with here in the numerator is x minus 6 over 4. And this is the simplified expression. Let's take a look at another example. Again, I look at my first expression here. I can't factor anything out, so I'm going to keep that the same. I'm going to change this to multiplication because we're multiplying by the reciprocal. And then I'm going to do two steps in one. I'm going to take the reciprocal of the second expression, but I'm also going to factor it at the same time. So looking here at the denominator, which will now go in the numerator, I'm going to factor out 5p squared. What I'm left with is p minus 7. In the denominator, I'm going to factor out a 9, and I'm left with p minus 4. So again, I'm going to check to see if anything divided by itself can 1 out, and we have 5p squared and 5p squared. And then after that, we just multiply straight across. So 1 times p minus 7 is still p minus 7. And then in the denominator, I'm left with 9 times p minus 4. And this is our simplified expression. Let's take a look at one more example. So here, I can't factor anything out of that first expression. I'm just going to leave it as n plus 3 over n plus 2. And I'm going to change this to multiplication. And I'm going to take the reciprocal here. So the numerator will already have been factored. We'll leave this as n minus 1 squared. And the denominator, that could factor to x minus 1 times x, or n plus 3. And n minus 1 squared, I'm actually going to change that. n minus 1 squared can be represented by n minus 1 times n minus 1, because squared means something times itself. And now it's a little bit easier to see that the n minus 1 over n minus 1, that could 1 out, because anything divided by itself is 1. And then I also have the n plus 3 that could 1 out with the other n plus 3. And so what we're left with is in the numerator we have n minus 1, in the denominator we have n plus 2, and this is our simplified expression. That concludes our lesson on dividing rational expressions. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below. And for more math tutorials, subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.